Hi, and thanks for taking a look at Polybrush. This will be a quick overview of the vertex painting tools in Polybrush as of the beta.9 version. In other Polybrush tutorials, we've already gone over the brush settings area here in the panel, but just a quick recap, if you hold down Control and turn the scroll wheel on your mouse, that will change the radius. Holding Shift will change the fall off, and holding Control and Shift together while moving the scroll wheel on the mouse will change the strength, which is basically the opacity. Um, so let's set that strength back up to one, make a slightly smaller brush, and start painting. So simply select the paintbrush icon here. You can use the paint bucket if you'd like to paint directly onto or, or fill um, the polys, but we'll just use the regular paint mode for now. Uh, click on the eyedropper tool, standard to anything in Unity. Once you click that, as you can see, the colors change depending on what your mouse is hovering over, and you're probably best off using the palette area down here. Let's pick a simple green color, maybe this one. And as you hover your mouse over the object that you are painting, you'll see a preview. And that, of course, will change uh, in real time as you change the actual brush. So very simple to use. And then just hold down the left mouse button to paint. So we can paint this in, maybe even the whole object, just to get a nice flat base layer. Then let's paint in some sand or sort of path areas on this maybe. And I can make this brush a little smaller and even set the fall off a bit sharper. And we'll paint this in. Very simple to add that right on. Uh, we can also add in maybe some more colors here. Blue for a bit of water on the bottom. And it might actually be better if we go back to this sort of sandy color and then set the strength or opacity down a lot lower. And then we can kind of add that in. So it's not going to completely cover over what we're clicking, but with the opacity set a bit lower, it just adds to it a bit. So that's it really for vertex painting. It's very simple. Um, one thing to note is the palettes here. You can add or subtract items in the palette. You can even create your own palette entirely. So in case you have a special set of colors that you need for um, your creations. So obviously this works great for creating uh, old school sort of looking terrains. If you need to also just paint in fake uh, vertex lighting is a great use, uh, really efficient. Uh, if you're using that for mobile or just for a sp uh, special look, you could paint in all your lighting, paint in your AO. You can use it to blend things, to add grunge, to add dirt or, or sort of uh, rust or various colors like that. So thanks for looking. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, email us, post in the forums or ask here on the video. Thanks.